So how are you? Okay, in Italy everything is fine. I'm fine. More relaxing. More relaxed today. Yes. So where's the bottle? I don't see the bottle, my friend. I, no, because I'm um, uh, in the other place. I'm not at home. <laughs> yeah. But you know, we can keep the conversation the way we used to. But I no. Okay. I want to, I want to record the interesting sure. piece. I would like to share some of the thoughts that we have and we share together, and your thoughts with the you know, students as we get yeah. better understand what's happening. So, how are things going? Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, so, but we are discussing. I have a question for you, but uh, there are some people inside also. Other people? No, no, it's just two of us. I'm recording it. I know. Ah, no, okay. Siamo solo io e te. Ma volevo registrare così abbiamo. Ah, okay, okay. A volte diciamo cose molto intelligenti. Quindi volevo registrarle e poi. Magari qualche spezzettone, se tu, uh, if you are right, if uh, you agree with some pieces, may, I may show it to our students or, you know. Sure, I'm sure, talking, absolutely. Yeah, I'm talking, to different, I'm talking to different people, uh, not only artists, but also philosophers, uh, uh, economists like you are, uh, yeah. different scientists, in addition to poets, uh, playwrights, uh, and artistic yes. directors, because I think that we are in a very important moment of our life. Because okay, well, your your your, uh, your screen and okay okay now it's working. Your screen was fixed for a while. Okay, well it now, may now, now yeah. it's fine. Now, now it's fine. I'm so, yeah. So uh, well, you know, um, Roberto, I'm I'm. Um, let me see. Uh, First of all, to, to, I'm tired. Yesterday, you know, I was very busy, but uh, uh, today, finally, I slept. <laughs> oh, that's good. And uh, and uh, yes, and I slept. I'm relaxing, and uh, you know, the I think also the situation is not, uh, you know, is a is a sort of intermediate level. Let me say that. I mean, there is no. Uh, they want to. Um, well, if you are speaking about the situation now, um, everybody wants to to do something else, and also the system, the system that in Italy we have a, also a moment of uh, you know want to pass to go to the stage step two, you know, uh, try to open open uh, some activities, some um, some places, and. Um, but you know the debate is very high in this moment because everybody wants to, you know, there is something that I think is interesting in terms of, uh, to, uh, if we want to compare U.S. And, and Italy, as you know, in Italy we have a, a, a system that is based on regions, but it's not federal, you know, like uh, United States. Right. Even if the regional uh, governors. They they are they are they are acting as a sort of a, you know federal state. Okay. I mean, in the sense everybody wants to do, to do it in their own way, but this is not possible because the central government. It is, that's a big debate now. I mean, in the sense of we we are going to open. Who wants to open? Why we to, why we we have to do in in some way. Uh, Lombardia, as you know, and Piemonte, they are really in a big... Uh, today there was a story, like a, a, a matrix. They said, that up to now, people that uh, that is dead is more than the people during the Second World War in terms of uh, civil people. Oh, wow. Oh, that's... Well, I didn't know that number. That's that's, those are high in numbers. In terms of numbers. Wow, high numbers of people that the civil. I mean, in terms of the not the military civil, right, the civil. You know, like population. Population in the in in, Mila, in, in Lombardia, um, they, they they track the numbers. It's more than Second World War as civilian population. Wow. It's a lot. Those are big. And uh, I, I, you know, uh, the the story is. Uh, 
Uh, uh, by the way, here, here in Sicily, the situation is much better. And uh, I'm telling you, it's confirming the story. The, 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 I think the, be, uh, by living in a, in a place close to the, to the sea, to the ocean, to the sea, is much better than, uh, in terms of the impact of the, of the COVID, much better than other areas. We have uh, like um, numbers that are fine, but a lot, but not really, not a lot. We have uh, really nothing with respect to the other regions, you know? That's great. That's a good news to hear. I, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, uh, you know uh, something, I think we, we discussed the last time, and um, um, besides any, let me say, um, environmental uh, differences in Italy, well, there is one point. They, they said that in, in Lombardia, um, the, the welfare system is, most, is more based on the, like a health, is more based on approach. And there is no a sort of a community approach, it means in terms of welfare state, in terms of health to everybody, like in a common sense. I believe that uh, this makes also a, another point of difference. So you said it's not based on the, uh, can you repeat that word? It's not an universal, it's, so, it's a, okay. In no, Italy we have a- It's split between- You, you know that in Italy, in right? Italy the, we have- uh, Go ahead, go ahead. So I think that what so, you're saying, and from wh what I understand, in Lombardy, in the region of Lombardy, that has the highest number of deaths, the healthcare yes. system is kind of split. There is a part that is no. uh, private and a part that is uh, state. Is that right, or, or are you saying something else? Is a is a sort of is is a I think is a, there is a sort of approach is too related to the sort of a technical and the specific personal view not in terms of a welfare of the region. Health, health system in Italy was, uh, mm, is much more related to the, the several uh, um, autonomy of the regions. And then it works differently in, the, in, in uh, Lombardia, for example, with respect to Lazio, okay? This is besides any other technical or like um, uh, other reasons in terms of uh, disease. Uh, and you, uh, uh, Vincenzo, yeah. could you could you actually explain it a little bit more uh, specifically so that we all understand? Also, I understand what you mean. I think I okay. understand, but if you could uh, uh, explain the difference between what the system, uh, the healthcare system in Lombardy, and the one from uh, Sicily or Lazio, whatever you want, so that we understand, because I understand there is a, a relation okay. between the system and the number of people there, right? Okay. Yes. The point is the following, and uh, of course, so these are only some, um, some uh, let me say, some thinking of, on, on, this, uh, on this topic. But the point is that in, uh, um, according to the last years, um, in Lombardy, in the Lombardy region, they decided to push a lot on uh, a sort of mixed private public system Right. And uh, related to a particular care of one of the individual disease, let me say in this way, like even if we have a, a sort of a universal system, uh -huh. because Italy is the same, they push in Lombardy more on, in, in terms of uh, we have an issue, we have to solve this issue. There is not a sort of universal approach to the health. I see. Okay. Yes, I mean, in the sense that the public take care of uh, of all kind of issues that can relate it to health. Okay. So, so you, in you, other regions in Italy, because this is one a sort of a, a little piece of autonomy. The regions, uh, all regions in Italy have in terms of management of the health. In other words, the 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 point is uh, the caring approach. You know how people how people how physicians how the health system care of this of the population there is much more i'm not saying that it's not a good system what i'm saying that there the system is much more uh, let me say tailored towards something that is uh, you have a problem you have to solve this problem period 
much more technical, much more uh, analytics in terms of which, which kind of problem a, a specific person can have. On the other hand, there is not a sort of universal coverage, maybe may, may more generalized, less uh, specific. But if you have an issue like uh, a pandemic, you know, like a disease like now, that's one, this is, was one of the other reason why Lombard, Lombardy was not uh, immediately ready to respond to the, this big crisis. You know? Because of the diversity of uh, approaches. Exactly. Out there. I see. I of, course, uh, of course, they have the earthquake, let me say, there. Right, of because uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the south, we didn't have uh, any, any problem like that. What I'm saying is, this is not the reason why of all these diseases. What I'm saying is that uh, the, 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 the approach to the issue was different there. That's, that's the point. And this is it's opening now. I, I, I see a sort of a comparison with the U.S., like the story that uh, Trump, he wants to do something, and the governors, they want to do something else. Right. You know? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, in, in terms of the economics, uh, you are, your field is um, uh, microeconomics, right? Is that yeah. correct? So I, yeah. I want to continue a conversation we started some time ago in terms of, um, uh, well, you, you said at the beginning, said that uh, there was this debate like it, there is in, in, in the United States of uh, reopening little by little the country. And nobody knows how to yeah. do it. Some people want to do it, some don't want to do it. Uh, and this... Uh, uh, this idea of reopening is connected with the need of the economy, right? So my question of for you and for me to understand, um, what did the, the economy, <laughs> let's put the economy as a big thing, right? Learn from this universal worldwide event and whether or not there are measures that can be implemented to make sure that that, that does not happen again and uh, whether those measures could take care of not just the one percent of the rich people or the comp corporations but also people in general you know so three three questions here <laughs> vincenzo i know that okay yeah, yeah 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 so, so, so yeah. What do you think? Your thoughts as an economist, and of course I am also interested not just in analysis, but also in your opinion. I think this, the opinion are important, right? Uh, as a way to get out of this, um, of this, yeah. of where we are. Okay, well, you, well, your questions, if I understood correctly, are complex. But let me let me let me try to answer. And um, uh, <laughs> okay, one issue is uh, if we, we have uh, let me let me summarize. If one issue is uh, probably related to the trade-off between health and economics. Uh, if I yes, I mean in the sense if uh, this, the if I understood correctly, you are asking me. If if the if um, the the opening uh, the reopening is uh, this sort of step by step process, um, how is related if I cor if I understood correctly uh, to the needs of the health the, of the health system with the needs of the econo the economics Absolutely. or the let me say or the welfare in general. I mean, in the sense how people perceive, you know. This, this is, if I understood the question, yeah? Right, yeah. Okay, I'll give you, I'll give, I'll, I'll give you an example of the, of the two years ago in, uh, in Sicily. Okay. We had some, uh, some problem in one area um, close to Syracuse, uh, and also not only Syracuse, close to Gela. Gela is inside Sicily. Right. Uh, where we have a big uh, chemical uh, and, and the, oil refinery complex, okay? 
and uh, also is a high risk uh, com industrial complex area. And uh, in the last uh, 10 years, uh, several uh, health metrics show many problems of uh, not only for people working in, the, in this company, also outside in terms of uh, high risk can taking cancer, other diseases, you know. And as you know, Sicily also, um, Sicily also is a high level of unemployment. And, and many people said, many people in that city, they said, you know, if I had to, if I had to die for uh, for a cancer, or I had to die because I, I don't because I don't have enough uh, food, I prefer to die for cancer, not for uh, less food. Why? Because I have other job opportunities. Okay, I think the situation step by step is coming up in all in all countries, specifically in the countries that, they, that we have this sort of a pandemic pandemic disease. Um, the degree of opening, how much is related to over the capacity of the system to 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 face this situation? Because I think this is a big issue that is working now. I mean, we if we open too much, the risk to have a second wave of uh, of um, of the disease is high. Right. On the contrary, if we, if we don't, we, if we are not going to open, some people get the disease because they they are going to die in terms of econ in economic terms, and that's a big trade-off. But the issue, the real issue, is how to to implement this sort of a hyper, hyper transition period. Let me say that. It's a big transition. And, uh, you know, we in economics, usually we study a sort of, a, you know, it's called like game theory. And, uh, and usually we work in terms of, uh, you know, co co cooperation or no cooperation between the different potential outcomes. Okay, here, the issue is to analyze if uh, this, these two outcomes um, are uh, like uh, they, they can put together or they are not, uh, or there is a real like, trade off, you know? And this issue also is related to the fact to consider health and uh, well being, let me say, uh, how the concept of well being can be analyzed is, a, is a only um, an, an health issue problem is also is an economic issue is a combination of both that's that's a real that, that's a real moment uh, by the way in in us uh, i think the issue uh, is there is another point we are like in in a, in the year of the election the, the 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 next president will be the the person able to face the situation Right. Either as a potential new president, that's for the U.S. situation. And by the way, this is for the European also situation. Europe, there, there is a we have the high risk to split the European Community. By the way, by the way, I like the word. Europe is called the European Community. Community implies something. And and um, and I I I I'm in this case I'm positive. I mean, in the sense that uh, I believe that uh, the solution in terms of the money wise, the economic or the the economic problem will be. I'm not saying it will be. So, uh, and probably we need a sort of a collaborative approach between two different. Uh, point of view the health and the economics you know but it's not easy to find honestly it's not easy to find uh, like the best way if i were in charge if i were in charge probably i would like to to um, to be let me say 
even if it's not an, 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 easy, an easy word, but I will be very experimental. I mean, in the sense, I will try, you know, a sort of backward induction approach. What, what mean, is that? Do something. What is that? A backward, it means do something, then revise this, my, the, the, my decision, start again, change, you know, a sort of dynamic approach, you know? I see. Try to, to adjust my, my decisions. It's not easy because one, once that you, have, you make a decision, well, if you change the, the, the path, it's not really an easy, it's not difficult. But I think this is something that is necessary to, 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 to do. In other words, let me say, technically speaking, we, we don't have linear decisions from A to B. We have a, a dynamic decision, A, B, then going back to A, then go to C, they go back again, and then change also A, you know? So we are still uh, trying to figure out, is that, does that mean that we are still trying to figure out this new world where economy and, uh, uh, and uh, the human beings are at this point at the, on the same level? Because if there exactly. is, a, if there is a, exactly. the death of the economy, there is a, some form of death of the individual. That's what you're talking about, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. So in this in this case, or, or, or what I'm saying that we can't we can, we can you can uh, no. What I'm saying that we can't uh, split the two dimensions. You know, they are connected. Yeah, con but also they're really strong connected. Strong connected. Right, because the economy provides uh, a level of uh, a quality of life that uh, a, a non-existent economy would not provide, which would put in danger the, the person. Exactly. Physical and also, by the way, being. Yeah, and also, by the way, there is something people don't, uh, is a sort of yin-yang approach, like in, um, everybody is speaking today. This is something that I may speak in terms of opening and not reopening in terms of, you know, economics, you know. Uh, that, by the way, it's a very, it, it, you know, as an economist, for me also, is a, it's, my, it's my job. But, you know, the point is like, in which, um, let me say, in um, the point of view, you know, uh, I can start in the sense to say, look, even if, okay, um, you open, you have money, and then after, uh, after three months, you get the disease. Okay, this money to do what? Right. In, in this moment, there is a lot of people that have money, money in the sense that they have also, I, I mean, I, when I speak, when I say money, income, I say normal money. No, 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 I'm not saying it's hyper rich. But we cannot spend this money because we are at home, you know? Right. Yeah. Oh. And then my point is, okay, if you have, it's like a, the sense of, my, of, of this, of what, I'm, of what I'm, I'm saying means, uh, but you have money, but to do what? That's another, that's another issue. That's another problem in the sense that money... I'm not, I don't, I don't want to, to have like sort of um, like a, a very radical or very, let me say, high level discussion on this. What I'm saying that the money will, is losing its power if I can't use it. Yeah, but can, can we say, Vincenzo, that the fact that uh, uh, there are some people that have money, although those money cannot be uh, spent, can give the security to those people that have money not to have to go out and find a job or work. So that in a way, having those money, although they cannot be spent, are money that can contribute to the health of the, of the person. Because that person in this moment does not need money and does not have to go and work. Yes, well, uh, that's another, uh, uh, sorry, the first part was a little, uh, the, 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 um, there was some problem of the delay of, the, the, of your voice. You are saying that uh, 
We can use the money for uh, for those that need money with respect to what you're saying. Can you say again? Um, because I I have some problem to listen. So what I'm saying is that if you do have money, although you don't you don't have to spend yeah. them. Yeah. You don't have the urgency of going to work to get the money. So in a way, exactly. yeah. you know, having some money gives you some more security in terms of your um, health. Yes. So there is a value to that money okay. that you cannot spend. Are you there? I, okay, if I, you you were saying, well, let me say if I before the break, uh, you are saying, okay, if you have money, of course you don't care. I mean, you don't care. You don't have problem to work, and then this is not a big issue for people that have uh, money. Yes, correct. Right, you don't have to go and work in this moment. That you were saying happen. that or not? Yes. Okay, my my point is a little. Let me say. You are, you are saying something important because if I don't have money, I need to work. I need to find a way to get money, of course. But my point is a little, uh, let me say, a little different. Okay. In that term, said, this is one issue that if, if I don't have money, I have to do something to get this money. But the issue is, if I have money, I'm, that's why I said the sort of yin-yang uh, approach. But if I have money, if I can't use it, the money money becomes useless. Maybe it's too, too, but this is not the issue, the problem that we have now. No, this is a big issue. And by the way, this is related to something that it's, for me was very surprising. Because one month ago, almost, in the US, what I read, that was that uh, the unemployment level was very, was the minimum historical level in US. Yeah. Okay? Means yes. the situation was the, the economy, the health of the, econo of the economy, of US economy was very good. Okay, after 50 days, the level of unemployment is very high. Uh, my point is, well, there is something wrong in the systems in the all systems. Because if in five weeks, the situation is exactly the opposite. Okay, we need probably to re redefine the way in which how people can live according to their own destiny, but also with the destiny that it also is related to the, the other people. I mean, I think there is a big issue just now. It's like the story of the of the of the of the disease. If I'm in, the, if I don't have any 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 virus, and I am close to you, you are fine. But if I have a sort of spillover negative effect on you, you will get the disease. In other words, probably this disease is opening a new way to think in terms of accountability, responsibility of everybody. In the sense, what I'm doing. Today is it called a virus. Tomorrow is called uh, I don't know taxes uh, or or pay someone or do you know my life? You know, it's something that can affect your behavior and vice versa. And also probably another point that uh, I think is something that really um, uh, is really uh, I think uh, we spoke a, a long time ago about this. You remember when I said uh, um, the story of be material? You no, know, the material is important with respect to the digital approach. You know, yeah. what you well, call this is the perfect software. example. Well, the materiality, like the the, the story that uh, at, at least a disease is a, a perfect example that we are like you have like you know. We, it's something that is related to our bodies. 
and uh, also we need the we we have the, the the necessity to go every day to buy our food no to have mm-hmm. something to be something that also in terms of uh, we, we we feel secure if you have uh, some food at home this is like I said, this the basics of the human behavior right and it's not the and um, money is important. My, my, uh, let me say, it's not so important in terms of if I have, if I have, uh, you know, so I told you this uh, sometimes, um, uh, like poor people, some people, some, someone say, usually they think that the poor people are like, uh, are not good, let me say, quoting entrepreneurs of themselves. That's a big mistake. Because if there is anybody, if there is one person that is very, capable to fix their own problems is really the poor people. Why? Because they don't have any uncertainty. They don't have a, a stream, a fixed stream of money every month. You know? It's, more, it's much more difficult to handle the situation. In this moment, people that have money, apparently, at the way, in a certain way, they feel better. But on the other hand, they they increase the level of uncertainty in terms of their own life. And exactly the dimension of be poor is now is becoming, the health dimension is becoming much more um, important than it was before. You know? Because uh, before the problem was only to get enough money to live. To, to live. Now there is uh, the problem to have, to get, to, to get, to, sorry, to have, uh, enough health to survive it's a big difference you know i don't know if i was clear in my discussion what yeah. i'm saying really that uh, the personal dimension of health the personal dimension of health now is uh, is much more important uh, even is very important to the economic dimension of their own life Period. Of course, there is some vampire and health, but uh, you know, but the real, I, I can be the most uh, rich person in the world, but if I get the disease, I'm exactly a poor person. That's the point. Right. Because I will feel on my, on my skin the same level of uncertainty. So c- could we say then at this point, that through this virus, we are starting to look. Sorry? Can we say that through this virus, through what is happening now, yeah. while before the economy yeah. was at the center of the universe, now there is a more balance okay. between also the human being being at the center of the universe. Did you understand that? No, no, no. Can you say again? So before, it seemed to me that with the neo-liberalism, uh, they call the, the, the money was at the center of the universe. Yeah, yes. But yeah. now the coronavirus may have uh, kind of uh, the cent- could have the centered money and as maybe lift could have been lifted a little bit the human being, and maybe although it's not yet at the center of the universe, but is uh, no. now we are starting to talk as you I have talked about the human being, the person, and is it possible yes. to hope that at least uh, out, a way out of this um, of this uh, coronavirus? is also a way out of a system that was not working in a way of putting again the person, the human, if not above the financial system, above the money, because you said that they have to be going together, but at least at the same level, could that be one of the solutions? I, th- I think, think so. Yeah, I think yes. I think you're right. I think. Uh, the, the real problem, I, I believe, will, uh, will be fixed uh, soon. I don't, I don't believe so. Uh, people will forget easily. But probably, 
probably the story that you said, like this sort of, uh, let me say, rebalance, you know, rebalance the, all these points. I think that's true. So, you know, in, in, uh, as we live in, like in a Western society, speaking about, uh, in a, hello, can you, can you hear? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yes. No, what I'm saying that uh, in the Western countries, uh, people don't, uh, until uh, I think a uh, few, few months ago, speaking about death, you know, or like that um, people don't like to speak about, about, you know, end of life. No. Nobody speaks about this topic. Sorry, I can the I think and now the situation is changing. Vincenzo, could you the repeat? Vincenzo, no, what you... I'm saying that now, the, yes, no, no, yeah, I say again. No, what I, what I was saying is the following. Until now, I'm not saying nothing new, but probably until now, the, as, as you said, the economic dimension was so important that we forget that we are human beings. That implies also that given that you are like finite uh, uh, bodies, nobody likes to, to talk in terms of death, you know, in terms of uh, end of life. Right. Now, probably, and not, by the way, I don't want to say, I don't want to say something like really specific, but really I think people think that maybe life, uh, is, is, Life is like the, 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 the richness of life is, uh, is important as much as the, the, the wealth, the economic wealth of life. Right. I, by the way, this is not a moral position. It's like a sort of a, something like, okay, I'll give you an example. Um, in, a, in, a, in Palermo, you know, the majority of people stay at home because honestly this is, this is not related to the, the 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 advice of the government or the or the or the fees that we can get if you go out probably because people are really scared that's a point <laughs> that's a, you know <laughs> that's the yeah, issue that's a big issue that's, so vincenzo let's that's the issue. The, since the connection is not very strong today um yeah uh, we can stop here now, and then maybe we can talk maybe in a few days. And yeah. I would be very interested in having a conversation, in seeing how we can, also from uh, an economic standpoint, we can then make that balancing or rebalancing that you talked about a reality. Uh, the rebalancing okay. of the focus of life, right? Before it was money, now it seems that we are talking about the human being. And, and what, in your opinion, the economy and we should be doing.